as a society, we're kind of being taught that if you feel bad, if you feel sad, that's a bad thing. You should make it go away. If you feel angry, you've got to make it disappear quickly. If you're feeling emotional, you've got to kind of push it down to make sure nobody sees. If you're crying, you've got to make it stop. So when someone's feeling bad or upset, we either try to completely disregard it. Oh, don't cry or come on, that's no reason to get upset. Or we try to fix it. Oh, don't worry, we'll be fine. Oh, come on, give it to me. Mommy will fix it quickly. Or we try to compensate. Oh, don't cry. Do you want a candy? Oh, but you'll see them tomorrow, so you don't need to miss them. Do you want me to arrange a meeting for you for tomorrow? Now, obviously, if you ask anyone, they'll say, of course, because I wanted to make them feel better. I didn't want them to be sad. But then there's a layer underneath, and that is that in order to show compassion and making them feel like they're not alone in what they're feeling and that it's okay to actually feel that, you have to put yourself in their shoes in order to identify with what they're feeling. So if someone you care about tells you that they're sad and you're just there listening to it, you will automatically start feeling a little bit sad, right? Because you're connected. And so quickly trying to fix that feeling is not actually serving the person who is feeling upset, it's serving us. Whether it's justified or not by your cognitive mind, they are still feeling the emotion that they're feeling. Now, not getting spiritual in any way. Let's just keep it very practical. What are emotions? An emotion is an energy. We can't always see energy. When you look at your induction hub, you can't see the heat. You can just feel it. We can't see the energy of radiation, but radiation still exists. So our feelings still exist. And based on simple physics, Energy doesn't disappear. Energy only recycles itself into a different type of energy. So if your child is feeling sad or angry and you're telling them that they shouldn't, all they learn to do is take that energy and sort of suppress them into their muscle, into their subconscious. And then we're left as adults with all kinds of things that we were told not to feel and not to say. And depending how traumatic the emotions were or how often we had to repress them, we end up not being able to sleep. We end up with, you know, ticks in the muscles. We end up with disease or with mental disorders and all of that is because the negative energy never had an outlet. So it just recycled itself in our body into something else. When somebody, either a child, a friend, is expressing negative emotions to you, first thing I would say is try to pause. Let's try and take in what was told to us. So whatever was negative, whatever was bad, I'm sad, I miss someone. Let's try to just hold the information in before we immediately respond. That's step one. And then I would say step two is learning to express you being there with them, for them. I'm sorry you feel that way. This must be difficult. I wish I could take all the pain away. I'm so sad that you're sad. It's hard for me to see you like this. So what I'm doing is I'm directly responding to how they feel. I have not brought any other element in like compensation, like it's not important, like I'm trying to fix what they feel. I'm there with them with the emotion. And then the third stage, if it's appropriate, is to show physical affection. So you can give them your hand, a stroke. You can give them a hug. After all of that, if you've taken five minutes, then you can suggest solutions. I'm so sad that we couldn't do it today. How about we do it another day? So it's not to say that offering someone solutions is a bad thing. All it means is that you're enabling the energy of the emotion that the person is feeling to exist before you kind of encapsulate it and cover it with a different solution that came from your cognitive mind. For me, I feel like when somebody is acknowledging my pain and I feel like I'm not alone in the emotion, it actually helps me accept the solution that they might offer afterwards better. Or if I'm angry and somebody says, well, you have every right to be angry, you know, I would be upset too. Or, you know, it's okay to be angry. It immediately lowers my aggression and my resistance. So even if afterwards they say, you know what, instead of being angry, should we maybe try to do this? I would react better than the minute that I was still in the anger and nobody has acknowledged that I'm actually angry, but kind of tried to make me feel not angry. So if this speaks to you in any way, if you've got questions, I'll do my very best to respond. Leave them in the comments, leave them constructive. And in the meantime, stay safe.